Hello everyone, we're very happy that you've joined us on another one of our videos. Previously, we brought you a detailed introduction to Microtech's website, and in case you haven't seen it yet, we strongly suggest that you watch that video on our YouTube channel first. Today, we'd like to specifically focus on the hardware menu of Microtech's website and go over the different products Microtech has to offer. To begin with, let's get a few general things out of the way. Firstly, Microtech has sorted all of its products from top to bottom by their prices, starting each category with the cheapest item. Secondly, you have the search box on the left under which the product categories are listed. The third general subject in this menu is the comparison tool, shown by these scale icons in front of each item. You can choose two or at most three items at a time and compare them by clicking on the compare button. And fourth, you are provided with a number of filters here, and you can use them to narrow down your search for a Microtech device based on their values. For each Microtech product, you have a specific page that gives you detailed information about that hardware. In each product specific page, you have four tables titled Specifications, Support and Downloads, Gallery, and Test Results. Device specifications are very important, especially powering information that is vital for using as well as protecting your hardware. The second table provides users with product brochures, manuals, and downloadable resources. In the gallery, you have pictures of Microtech products, and in the fourth table, you have information on the performance assessment of the relevant hardware. Based on the product and its functions, you will have different test result tables, such as switching, Ethernet, or IPsec test results. Rest assured, we will discuss every single aspect of each different Microtech product in their own specific videos in the future. And at the bottom of each product page, you are also provided with related products that might include necessary power adapters, mounts or brackets, and other required accessories for your product of choice. To give you a little background, Microtech started its hardware production with its router boards, with no cases or accessories all of which had to be purchased separately. You can access the list of discontinued Microtech products using the archive filter in this page. At that time, the names of most of their products started with RB, standing obviously for router board, and a series of numbers and letters followed. However, as time went by, some product names started to become lengthy, making it difficult for customers to tell them apart. Therefore, Microtech started using more unique titles such as HAP, HEX, CAP, and so on. Each product, apart from its market name, comes with a unique product code, which you can find in the specifications table of each product. To find a specific product via the hardware menu search box, you can both use the name of an item or its product code. In the very near future, we are going to start a series of videos in which we review and discuss in detail each of Microtech's products. You can subscribe to our channel to be notified as soon as new videos are out. Anyhow, after the all product category at the very top that gives you a complete list of all available Microtech hardware, we have the Ethernet routers. As the name suggests, these products are especially used for routing. Ethernet routers are concerned with third layer network functions such as routing, firewall, QoS, and other functions of this layer. One of the most important functions of Ethernet routers is that they are used for routing purposes. Another product category which has items with the same routing functions is wireless for home and office. The difference between these two categories is in their wireless capabilities. Unlike Ethernet routers, Wireless for home and office products can provide you with the same routing features that come together with a wireless option. To find out whether a router has wireless capabilities or not, you can refer to the specifications table of that product's page. Unlike Ethernet routers such as HEX, the HAP Mini for example gives you a table titled Wireless Capabilities, showing that the latter has a wireless interface. The next category includes Microtech switches. Except for RB260GS and RB260GSP, the names of the rest of Microtech switches start with CRS 
or CSS, which stand for Cloud Router Switch and Cloud Smart Switch, respectively. The difference between smart switches and router switches is that smart switches work with switch OS and have switching functions, whereas router switches work with router OS and are capable of conducting routing as well as switching. Some of these switches have a dual boot feature, which means they work with both switch OS and router OS. We have talked about router OS in previous tutorials and we will cover switch OS very soon. However, Note that although cloud router switches have routing functions besides switching features, their main strength is in switching functions and they cannot replace MicroTik routers. You can expect a high level of performance from switches when they are being used for their switching functions, but it should be emphasized that the performance of router switches will dramatically reduce if they are used in routing mode. For instance, if we compare the most expensive MicroTik switch with the cheapest MicroTik Ethernet router, you will see that the router's processing is stronger than the switch. Also, if you look at the test results of a router switch, the CRS317 for instance, you will see the dramatic performance difference of that device between its switching and bridging results. The next category in the hardware menu is wireless systems, which includes routers with wireless capabilities used for outdoor settings such as point-to-point -point or backhaul, point-to-multipoint, and CPE or customer premise equipment. The distance range for point-to-point -point connections on wireless marketing devices starts from the short range and has hit the 304 km record from the island of Sardinia to mainland Italy. You can find the video for this milestone on YouTube. Microtex wireless systems already supported the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz protocols, and recently they have come up with devices supporting the 60 GHz protocol. Moreover, Microtech used to have devices on the 900 MHz protocol, and though they have discontinued the production of such hardware, they still support the 900 MHz devices such as the Metal 9 or the driver of a router board with a 900 MHz mini PCI Express slot such as the RB411A. The next category is wireless for home and office, which includes items that are most suitable for residential environments or small to medium businesses. Selection of these devices is based on different factors, including but not limited to their CPU, memory, and the traffic that such devices handle. These devices can manage a wide range of users, from very small home networks of six users to networks with about 100,000 users based on your network design. The LTE 5G category includes both hardware and accessories, and the accessories of course start at very low prices. One thing you should pay attention to is that certain microtech products are offered in two versions, a US version and an international version. Bear in mind that the US version, which is always specified with the letters US at the end of an item's product code, is actually a North America version and is compatible and suitable for Canadian users as well. So if you live in the US or Canada, make sure you opt for the US version. We recommend that you check with your local Microtech certified reseller or distributor or refer to the specifications table of Microtech hardware if you are unsure about the supported bands of a Microtech product. LTE devices have a varied range as well, including LTE, LTE 4G, and LTE 6. Remember that 4G and LTE 6 products are not divided into international or US versions, as they support an extensively wide range of frequencies in the US, Canada, and international settings. Recently, Microtech also produced its first 5G hardware, the Chateau 5G, which provides home users with an ultra-fast LTE 5G. Next, we have data over power lines, which are media converters used to convert power to data or vice versa, where you have no possibility of cabling. We have different devices in this category that span from a 100 megabyte up to a 600 megabyte throughput. Our next category is Internet of Things, or IoT, used for interacting with numerous smart home and office devices. This category deserves a full review in the near future, but for now, remember that again, you have to be very careful with frequency ranges. For instance, 
The WAP LR8 is used for the European Union, Russia, India, and some other countries, while the WAP LR9 is used for the US, Canada, Mexico, Brazil, Australia, and a number of Asian countries. Next down the line are the 60 GHz products, which were previously nested under the wireless systems category. 60 GHz products offer different levels of throughput, from 100 MB up to a full duplex 2 GB, that is 1 GB for download and 1 GB for upload. Also, the maximum distance this category of products covers is 1,500 meters, depending on the device and the environment in which they are used. They also fulfill numerous applications, such as point-to-point -point or point-to-multipoint -point connections, access points, customer premise equipment, and so on. Some 60 GHz products come in pairs, such as the Wireless Wire Cube, Wireless Wire N-Ray, Wireless Wire, and Wireless Wire Dish. An important advantage of 60 GHz products is that they are pre-configured, saving you a lot of time and workload. Back to the router board category, it should be mentioned that router boards have little use today, except for system integrators. The reason for this declining popularity is that Microtik has produced a myriad of devices down the road, many of which have integrated functions and better performance and come in much more attractive cases with cheaper prices. As for enclosures, there are just a few products on offer. Outdoor enclosures have been discontinued and Microtik only offers a few indoor enclosures that are specifically used for router boards. Next, we have a wide range of interfaces, which are actually add-on products that can be used on Ethernet routers. Interfaces differ based on a number of variables, including their functions, the required coverage distance, whether you are using copper or fiber lines, the throughput you are looking for, and so on. They give us a lot of freedom and flexibility to customize our projects, and they should be carefully selected based on your specific project needs. The category before last is Microtech accessories, which includes brackets, mounts, injectors, converters, cables and connectors, power adapters, and power supplies. Each accessory is usually used for specific devices, and when you are purchasing a product, you should pay attention to the related products section that comes with each hardware, indicating the accessories that you will need for using a specific marketing item. And finally, we have the antennas category that includes antennas and sector antennas, as well as corresponding antenna covers that are used to cover and protect microtech antennas against natural elements. Thank you very much for staying with us. In this video, we just wanted to provide you with an overview of Microtech hardware categories. Gradually, we will be posting videos for each Microtech hardware to talk about their features and usages in detail. So please, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any suggestions, leave a comment or get in touch with us as you see fit. We will see you again in our next video. Until then, stay safe and take care.